babe. I'm trying to wake up my girlfriend. I'm locked out of our hotel room. And then it dawns on me, she's in Los Angeles. I'm in Vancouver. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> so I gotta find a way in and I start walking around. I'm in the even building, I'm in room 1902. And I see 1904, 1906, 1908. And it comes to me, it's 19 is the common number. The other numbers are even, there's a code. I gotta figure out this code and I'll get back in my room. And then it comes to me, if I can find 1901, I can go in through that door, into that closet, pull the sliding door, the trap door between the two closets, and get back into my room 1902. And this all makes complete sense to me. Because I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm sleepwalking. And then I wake up. And I wake up and I realize I'm stark naked on the wrong side of my hotel room door. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I look around, there's not a piece of art, there's not a, a curtain, there's not even uh, an ashtray by the <laughs> There's nothing. And I'm not about to knock on my neighbor's doors at two in the morning saying, Do you have any more uh, sugar packets? <laughs> Naked guy here. I don't know what to do. So I do the only thing I can do I push the button for the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm in an elevator going from 19 to G. <laughs> Now, you know when you're skinny dipping, there's that wonderful feeling, you're free, you kind of go, how oh, is it just, I'm just missing my trunks, but whoo, we're a little run around the backyard, day. it's nice. Not the same. <laughs> when you're in a little box, going down, and as the ding, 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 and all you can think of is someone calls this elevator. Between there and then, what am I going to do? Doors open high. I'm Jeremy. <laughs> Going down? Uh, uh, I know why people look at the numbers. So we get down to the bottom. I look around. I beetle out to the front counter. This is the first time I've ever stood naked at the check-in desk. There's a man in the back, and I go, excuse me, I'm locked out of my room. Can you, uh, you have a passkey? And he looks at me. Never looks at me again, never says anything to me. Picks up a walkie talkie, and just says something in there, and puts it down, and again, just looks. And I don't want to start saying anything. I don't want to look crazy. I'm like, hey! I don't want to start yelling at the guy. And then all of a sudden, the front door is open, and a big man comes striding in. It's night security, and oh man. And he starts peeling off his jacket, and all I can think about is I don't want to fight. I'm naked. It's not, it's not good. And about 10 feet away, he just throws his jacket to me. He goes, What room? Oh, okay. Uh, 1902. Reaches under and grabs his great wad of keys, and he just starts walking towards the elevator. So I follow along. I figure he hasn't said anything, but that's probably where he's going. And uh, we get back in the elevator. He starts looking at the numbers. Gonna, he's going, I've got his jacket. I'm carrying it like a matador. Because <laughs> I don't want to wrap it around my waist. It's, I, it's his work clothes. He doesn't want my... You know, and I don't want to put it around my shoulders like, you know, we're on a date and I'm a little chilly. So we're riding back up and I've got this. And i got to say something. I just said, you know, does this happen a lot? And he's looking at the number. He goes, fourth time this month. <laughs> I said, but totally naked? And he goes, happens. <laughs> so now it's midday in Los Angeles, and that girlfriend is now my wife, and she is running down the hallway, and she's screaming. She's screaming, call 911. Call 911. My baby's having a seizure. And it's my son, my 18-month-old son. 
We call 911 and they need to talk to her and she hands me my boy. And his eyes are rolled back in his head. His body is lifeless. It feels like a 25 pound bag of salt. And I don't know what to do. I'm not a paramedic. And all I can think about was, if this is my last 30 seconds, if this is my last minute, two minutes, whatever, if this is my last moment, I gotta do something. So I just start saying over and over, I love you. And you're gonna be fine. And everything disappears. I can't hear the phone call. I can't hear any of the craziness. I'm not a paramedic, but I was a lifeguard when I was a teenager. And it all comes floating back to me. I flip him onto his stomach and I hit him three times in the middle of the back. See if there's anything lodged in his throat. Then I roll him back over. I stick my fingers in his mouth to see if he's swallowed his tongue, see if there's any block in that. And it hits me, you're not supposed to do that because if he's having a seizure, he can bite your finger off. But at that point, I don't give a fuck because this is my son. I, uh, I start giving him AR over his mouth and his nose. He's breathing, but he's just not, not responsive. And then I hear, it's almost like a team of Clydesdales arrives, these big heavy feet. And I turn and I see three huge firefighters in these yellow outfits with their, their, their boxes and their tanks and stuff like this. And the lead guy comes over and he looks at me and my son and looks at him a little closer and just says, oh yeah, he's okay. <laughs> and I look at these guys and none of them are opening anything up. They're not getting needles ready. They're not getting that stuff ready. And I go, no, he had a seizure. Like, I, like well, I, I, I don't know what to do. And the guy goes, yeah, yeah, he had a fibril seizure. Happens all the time. And it's true. They do happen all the time. We got to the hospital and uh, a, a dose of Motrin and some tender love and care and he was fine. Mm -hmm. So what I learned from this was that if you're neck deep in the alligator swamp, if you ever think you're forced, you're, you're looking at the biggest nightmare that you're ever gonna face and you don't know what to do, do something, do anything. Because chances are it happens. It happens all the time. And when it's over, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm.